provider of cookware, cutlery, and food processing equipment for Harrison Company. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He is back after another another vacation number five. The one and only, the creator of Healthcraft Cookware, and the man who's been teaching me so much about cooking, Mr. Charles Knight. Hey. <laughs> it's night time. That was in other number words. four, though. That was only number four. Uh, number you got four. another one coming up. Yeah, I have next month I go on vacation again. Oh, you are? Are you yes. seriously going to do it Absolutely. again? Absolutely. Oh, man, I tell you, if I'd, have, I'd have loved to have been in the cookware business. Well, you know, I'm in some great. lousy job where... Act, actually, it's most of the time it's a working vacation. This week we took, um, we took uh, 70 health crafters to New York, and then we cruised them all to Bermuda and back again. You took the health crafter guys to Yeah, to all, all the top salesmen and managers. Oh, wow. Bermuda is fantastic. It's beautiful. It? Very yeah. expensive. How many, very, ex that's very true, expensive. that's true. How many people have been to Bermuda? Raise your hand, holler, yo. Oh. They, they, they all have loved to, it. They have to go. I mean, yeah. I was there, I was there when I was in the Navy. I was there on two tours, uh, four months at a time during college week. And that's when they have all of the, uh, the, the young, rich college kids come the home. The young ladies, actually, there was no, no men. You know, it's a funny thing. I was sitting in the barracks one day. The guy says, you gotta go down to the planes. You're not gonna believe the girls coming off the planes. I said, well, there's got to be equally amount of guys, you know, it's got to be. He says, no, no, it's, it's serious. So we went down, they were hanging out of the buses and everything. You're kidding. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Jeez, been... Good thing I wasn't married. I took my time. wife. Oh, yeah. how dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it went on for like three or four weeks and I did that twice. Yeah. And so I had to get out of the Navy. <laughs> had to get had to get away from Bermuda. Yeah, had to get out. But it was, know, it's a beautiful country. It's it's more beautiful than I remembered it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the most relaxing place around. I was there during a hurricane once, and they wouldn't tell you there was going to be a hurricane. That's right. No radio, you know, television, or newspapers, right. and they won't tell mm -hmm. you. We had known there was a hurricane coming. We kept saying there's a hurricane. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And late that night, they said, please clear your porch furniture off right. your uh, <laughs> balcony, off the patio. Yeah. And they don't even say then there's a hurricane. You clear right. the porch furniture, though. They said so they don't want it blowing around. That's right. And that <laughs> night a hurricane comes through, and the next morning they say, put the porch furniture back out, please. That's and right. a hurricane <laughs> had gone right across the island, leveled yeah. everything. We've sat, we've sat there through a couple of storms. One time, I was in the Naval Air Force, so we had, we used to... What? what? <laughs> Are we going to cook? Oh, we have oh, to cook. Show. Oh, that's right. Joe, We're here relax, to cook. <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> anyway, stories here. it's all upset down here. Oh, okay. Well, okay. okay. What are you we'll cooking? Cook. What are you cooking? Actually, we're not cooking anything. You're not cooking no, anything. No, we're not We're going back to Bermuda again. I'm finishing this story. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I'm only kidding. But anyway, he's the boss, so we have okay, to cook. Gonna right? What we're going to do is we're going to make my dad's cucumber and onion salad. Oh, I love it's great. I love cucumber and onion salad. Anyway, I like cucumber and onion salad? Onions. Yeah, I like them both. And onion I like onions, salad. too. Okay. Now, do you know how to strip the cucumbers? Yes. Okay, you remember how to do that? You do this. Yes, yeah, so only have to Whoops, a little bit deeper, a little, yeah, a little bit more forceful. Okay? Good grief. This is known as striping or stripping the cucumbers. Uh, you do it all the way around? <laughs> uh, striping the what? The cucumbers. <laughs> the cucumbers. Right? There we go. Very good. You're doing Jeez. well. You're doing These well. These are hard to do. Joe, so we didn't even get started. He's already down here one minute. What? <laughs> you got to be kidding. I'm not even striping my cucumbers go. yet. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, what you can do... Well, you you're almost finished. You're almost finished. There you go. All right, now what you want to do is once you've got it done like this, that's enough. Just cut the top and the bottom off. Cut the top and the bottom off. Yeah, because sometimes that's bitter. This part here? Yeah, so you don't want to take any chances because you put that bitter part in. All right, get that out of the way. Now, if you like, if you don't like this much skin on them, you just go down like this and go in quarters. But you want to leave the skins on because, you know, you ever eat a peeled cucumber and you notice after a while it burps up on you? Uh, I, I'll no. take your word for it. Well, it's coming back up looking for the skin you took off, so. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to peel your vegetables. You want to leave as, as many, as much of the skin on as possible. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use blade number two. Okay. Can we take a break? Run it through? First? Sure. Go ahead. You're going to run the whole thing through? Sure, show. You can do whatever you want. Wait a minute. Well, no, Joe's down there doing this <laughs> and all kinds of histrionics down there. We'll be back in just a moment before Joe has a little heart attack down here with more on how to peel your cucumber. <laughs> Register to win and see the Healthcraft Cooking Show live this weekend at the Gulfview Square Mall in Port Ritchie, Florida. That's June 22nd through the 25th, where you can receive the Harrison Company Cookbook absolutely free with any Healthcraft purchase. That's the Healthcraft Cooking Show live this weekend at the Gulfview Square Mall in Port Ritchie, Florida. That's June 22nd through the 25th. If you've been seriously injured in any kind of accident, 
The law limits the time you have to file your claim. Time may be running out. You need a lawyer who will work quickly to get you money for your injuries. Call the injury helpline now and speak to a lawyer near you for free. One who works hard to get what you deserve and who gets paid only when you collect money. The insurance companies have lawyers working hard on their side, and so should you. Call 1-800-346-1550. I called one of those psychic lines. Oh, forget it. They were so wrong. You're kidding. I had a great reading when I called. Then it had to be the Psychic Readers Network. You're right. How'd you know? They have the best psychics. Oh, I know. And to prove it, they give you a free reading. A free reading? Exactly. That's why everyone's calling. Call now. This call is free. Call 1-800-508-8426. With Charles Knight making my dad's cucumber and onion salad, and you just want me to fire that straight down right in there. Through, right through. There you go. In she goes. All Boy, you're up. getting good at this. Look at this. Right Boy, through. Boy, that thing does Isn't slice something. Slice slow. Does a nice job. Two of them. Two of them. Good. Right. Two of them. Okay. You get that ready, and I will get the onion ready. I didn't this know is... this thing did that. That's sure pretty good. It does. Sure it does. Listen, how do you get that last one in without losing uh, your finger? You don't do that. Don't stick your fingers in okay. here. Anybody oh. knows better than that. It's like no. sticking your foot in a lawnmower. No. You know? You stick your foot in a lawnmower? Not recently. Well. Disaster <laughs> man may, but not me. <laughs> That's a possibility. Okay, switch blades. See if you know how to switch blades. Oh, I remember Very that. good. Okay. okay. This one goes See off. if you can do that, anybody can do it. And where'd the other one the go? The other blade's oh, right, right over here. there. Okay. Yeah, it's the silver and thing. Okay, yeah. there you go. All right, now the Have I got it on? No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. One onion. Remember how Why to do not? the onions? You just push it right down in there. Yeah, just push it right down in. Ready to go. I'll get the vinegar ready. This is a simple recipe because it's vinegar, sugar. You want the other one? And it's uh, salt and pepper. Did you want the other one? Yes, sir. Okay. One onion, two cucumbers. Half a cup of vinegar. See that? It peels it and chops it all in one operation. So you haven't quite got the knack of getting all that out of there. Oh, yet. I know. You got to... Just stick your finger. No, keep turning it. There you go. See, now, boy, you're doing well. If you can do this, anybody can. Okay. Now, to that, you're not supposed to eat the onions. I'm no, just wondering <laughs> what it did to your hand all day long. Okay. By the way, this, be crying this every is time in I... the Harrison Company cookbook. Oh, okay. So don't forget, it's on page 34. My dad's cucumber My dad's salad. Cucumber salad. Okay. To that, a half a cup of vinegar. And that's, you've already got the, whoa, man, my eyes. Yes. Hold on here. Well, that's, that's a half a cup? Half a cup. It's the other side. Wait a minute. Okay. okay. It's a half Very a cup. Good. Half a cup. Okay. One teaspoon of olive oil. Or hey. you can use, I prefer canola oil. I didn't bring the canola oil with me, but the canola is a lot light, uh, lighter. Okay. One teaspoon. That one's that one right there, huh? All right. So all you need is just a teaspoon of oil. Or if you like it a little bit oily, more, uh, maybe a tablespoon. This just gives it a little bit of taste and consistency. Okay. Now, what you want to do is a table food, a tablespoon, a table food? a table spoon. That's a teaspoon, right? That's a tablespoon. Oh, the big one is the uh, tablespoon. Yeah, the tablespoon of sugar. Makes the medicine go down, the medicine go down. Wait a minute. Let me help you here. Okay. <laughs> it usually helps use the bigger opening when you want more sugar to come out. Okay. Okay, fill it up. There you go. A heaping one, heaping, heaping. heaping. I like, yeah, because what it does, takes the, it takes the bitterness out. Okay. okay. A little bit of salt and pepper. There you go. Extra. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. That should be about enough. All right. A little bit of, a little bit of salt. Whoa! Okay. Hold on here. Okay. We got too much salt. No. Now you can eliminate the salt too if you're on a salt-free diet. You 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 toss this and then you put it in the refrigerator and let it set overnight. And all the bitterness comes out, and it's just absolutely sweet and delicious. Oh, As a matter of fact, I have one in the refrigerator if you want to go get it. Yeah, let me grab this one in that? there. That's what you do. You stir. That I can handle. Let me go. see. This one, by the way, is missing a bunch of cucumbers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've been eating you, you on notice, this. <laughs> this was really full when we began. You notice how it looks like it's damaged here. Everybody's been kind of eating on that one. Everybody's kind of been in here. And, and you see, this one's been setting for a while. This you is just, good. Yeah, the vinegar kind of runs through it yeah, when it every, does. But everything just actually mixes Boy, together. I am salivating up a storm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Ah, it just smells so good. We need a, uh, we need a fork. Let me take this over. We got Disaster Man over disaster here. Disaster Man. Who is going to be eating this. Is that, oh, you already have a fork and Good. everything. Incidentally, I want to. Disaster Man has a. Uh, this is a tape, and let me. Can we get a shot of it right here, Scotty or Rob? Here we go. Called Dreams Never Sleep with Their Eyes Closed from Gary Cox. And how do you get this anyway? 
they can uh, call our toll-free number at 1-800-64-POWER. That's 1-800-64-P-O-W-E-R. 1-800-64-POWER. It's a self-development program. All right. Boy, that's nice. Nice pictures on here. Give us a try here, Gary, and see what you think. A man who has experienced all kinds of disasters not is not going to experience like right no, now. going to experience something wonderful. If I got a microphone, let me get a microphone here, I think. That's 1-800-64-POWER, in case nobody heard you. 1-800-what? <laughs> Six no, four pounds. Just checking yeah. no, no, that's I'll, I'll good. never forget that. Good? That's, you that's like very that? good. Yeah, Excellent. very good. And the kids Fantastic. can make that. You know, the kids are home cooking now for the summer. Yeah, this is this is easy, and it's something. You, you know, uh, you just keep it in the refrigerator and eat on it all week. It's something. That's right. it's, it's a nice snack. Yeah. Real easy. And well, Gary, if you'd like, you can go back to your uh, back Thank to your you. chair okay. because I don't nice want to. Very good. Thank you. I don't want to contaminate our man here because he's going to be with the. Oh, oh my heavens! Oh Lord, Gary! Jeez! Well, at least he let the bowl here. upright. The bowl is up. What is good grief! <laughs> Holy smoke! Get back! We'll be back with more in a moment on Harrison Company. Get him out of here! I don't know whether to come out here. Get him back behind the thing.